Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shine Plays. Welcome back to Veritas at Fortitudo Mod, where we are playing Hohenzollern. Last episode, we conquered Furstenberg, so we can now say that Furstenberg is part of the Hohenzollern patrimony. We have a core here, and uh, we are enjoying our core. We have the ability to fabricate claims across the Bowden Sea, which is fantastic. We're not going to do that just yet, simply because even if we took that land, we would not be able to police it because we can't walk over there. Uh, so before we take anything over there, we do need Ravensburg. I'd also like to get Wurzburg, or Wurzenburg, but I think Ravensburg is the priority here. It's a better province, it has higher base tax, and it has salt, which trades way... Look at that, 3.27 instead of my grain, which is 0 0.74. That salt is going to be an amazing resource for us. And uh, that, I think, is going to be the priority. If, if we can get that today, that'd be great. If not, we'll, we'll keep it as a priority. Oh, man. We're getting relations back up with some of our allies. They've dropped just because they dropped naturally. We've already played for 16 years. Wow. I'm just fast-forwarding and playing 16 years. That's not half bad. A lot of times when you, uh, when you get started in this game, you kind of get bogged down with a bunch of wars. But we've only had one war. We only took one province. We're doing our best to avoid a coalition. How are we doing on aggressive expansion? We still have one. So we need to keep burning that aggressive expansion down. And we need to keep improving relations with people as well. Uh, the biggest thing, I think, is just going to be keeping our diplomats busy. Now we do have... Do we get an extra diplomat? We do. So if we throw points into the intimidatory idea group, we will get an extra diplomat. So maybe that's what we should do. Instead of instead of going up the admin tech, maybe we should go straight for the extra diplomat just so we can keep pressuring people to stay out of coalitions. And I think that's going to be something we want to do. Hmm. But the question is, do we go for that idea early or do we let it lag a little bit and get some more land? I don't know. It really is a, a, a trade. I, I, think, I think being a little more peaceful is going to be good for us. Ooh, Milan has no air. Really? Really? Milan has no heir. And when he dies, he gets my dynasty. Oh, okay then. Yeah, I'm okay with that. But he is only 16 years old. He's only 16. Take Württemberg, fortify. Nah, we don't have the ability to do any of that shit. How's our revolt risk doing? Oh, I mean, it's coming down. Nationalism, there's still nine years. There's still 14 years left on nationalism. And there's still 10 years left on unlawful territory. Okay. Scotland has declared war on Norway. Hey. Wow, that's actually a pretty big war. France has joined. Whoa. So France is now at war with Norway. Hmm. Hey, gained 50 military power. I like it. And our diplomat's coming back from Milan. Let's send him back to... Sure, let's go to some of these small nations over here. Basel. There's a ton of little nations over here. There's Neuchatel, Basel, Bern, Wallis, uh, Waldstadt, which is Switzerland, Zurich, St. Gallen, Schur, Montfort. A ton of small nations over here. Border friction. Yeah, piss off Ravensburg. I don't care. We're good at pissing off Ravensburg. Ulm. Hohenlohe, Alsace, Baden. All these guys are little one province miners. There's so many of them. It's pretty crazy. All right. Since we are ahead, why don't we go ahead and take a military tech? We have the points. We should probably do that while we have the ability. What would be a good military idea group? Mercenary, defensive, offensive, quantity, or quality? Let me ask in Twitch chats. Now, there is no rush. We don't have to take one of these right away. We can store up to 1,500 points. I just want to think ahead. If, if, if we're going to wind up in a situation where we frequently have extra military points, then uh, it's probably important to take a military idea group and just put the points somewhere rather than just locking them up maybe in military leaders or something like that. Although military leaders is not a bad place to, to lock them up either. A 
Russia's fighting each other, okay. Someone's asking about Imperial. Uh, I honestly don't know. Does anyone know what ideas you need to go Imperial? Salted beef. Ah, we have to own Ravensburg. And Bohemia has surrendered to Poland. He has given up uh, Friedlansko and Hradeko. Man, Poland OP. Please nerf. England broke their alliance with Brittany. Whoa, why would you do that? What the hell, England? <laughs> England's like, well, fuck you, Brittany. Like, why would you even break your... I don't understand that. England, you, you idiot. You jerk. England's a jerk. Anyway, let's get relations up with our neighbors. Where's the opinion thing? There it is. So we'll check the opinions, and we'll keep, we'll keep focusing on people who are yellow. All these yellow, they need to get green. They want it, they need to like us. Take the decision to display the idea tree. Okay, let me display the idea tree. Display the idea tree. There you go. Oh wow, look at that. Okay, quality or quantity, cavalry or infantry, mercenary standing or drafted. Okay. Conciliatory or espionage or intimidatory. We already have intimidatory. Uh, mercantile free trade or land routes, grand fleet, galley expertise or logistics, innovative religious or economic. So you can only choose one out of each of these groups, which is kind of nice. I like that. You have to focus your nation. You must choose innovative religious or economic before unlocking admin ideas. Okay. So we have to go with one of those three to unlock admin. Exploration requires a port and admin tech 8 or tech 12 if you're not Iberians. Okay. Standing army and drafted army requires quality, quantity, cavalry, or infantry. Logistics requires mercantile, free trade, or land routes. Democracy, plutocracy, and autocracy only available as the last idea choice. So you have to fill up all nine of your other ideas to unlock those three. Interesting. Sort of like Civ 5. Huh. Okay. All right. Well, that's neat. Thank you. I didn't see Imperial in there. So is Imperial gone? They must have changed. I haven't played this mod in forever. They must have changed it because Imperial seems to be gone. Gelren Conquest of Utrecht. So Gelray wants Utrecht. He has uh, a claim on it. And Utrecht is allied to Bremen, Munster, and Liege. That has put Gelray at war with Utrecht, Munster, Bremen, and Liege. But Gelray is allied to England, so England's going to get involved down there. That'll be fun. Imperial is gone. Okay. So how do you get the same effect as Imperial? Because the Imperial Idea Group gave you a whole bunch of administrative capacity, which allowed you to govern a larger realm. Imperial is now a decision? Ah, okay. So how do you get to the Imperial decision then? Like what triggers it? Or what do you have to do to get to the decision? Do you need any specific idea groups? Ooh, Trier, Aachen, Lorraine, Mainz, Hesse, Bohemia, Luxembourg, and Akkoinlu. Okay. Yeah, we made progress. We conquered one whole county. Look at that. We're amazing. I know. I really want to go get Ravensburg because A, we have a claim on it. B, the base tax is good. And C, it has salt, which is a nice resource. It's way better than the grain that we have. 
But uh, his allies are not weak, and there are many of them. He has six allies, whereas I only have four. And my allies have a lot of war exhaustion, and France probably won't join any wars because he's already in a war. He's busy. Although he's not really doing anything, but he's still busy. Yeah, why don't we get someone home? Let's come back from Basel really quickly. No, let's come back from Bavaria. You're still allied to Austria, right? Yes, but you're not. No. All right, let's see what happens here. Let's see what the numbers say. Nope, France will not join because he's already in another war. And Austria will not join because he likes my enemy. Oh, shit. Brandenburg won't because he's in another war. Milan won't because he's cordial attitude. Okay. Well, there's not much we can do about that other than just uh, we got to wait. We really do have to wait. Darn it. The only three nations that we border are Austria, who is huge. Wurttemberg, who is allied to Austria, and Ravensburg, who has pr pretty strong allies, and none of my allies will join against him. So, uh, options are getting into someone else's war, or playing defensively. If we play defensively, just let them attack us, it could take a while, but I don't see any other option. If they attack us, then all of our allies will join. Why is France in Ireland? Oh, because Scotland has declared war on Norway. Norway was allied to Connacht, Leinster, and Brandenburg. Okay, so Scotland is now going to annex a lot more of Ireland. Huh, can Scotland form anything? Can Scotland form anything if they conquer Ireland? That'd be kind of cool. They can form the Celtic Empire? What lands would that be? Oh my goodness, aristocrats embezzling. Uh-oh. My count, aristocrats have been caught embezzling funds that were rightfully ours. If we do not stop them now, it can only spread to an epidemic. Aristocratic power goes down, province government level goes up, revolt risk goes up, and taxes go up. Smooth things over. Hmm. Or just lose taxes. Ooh. How's our revolt risk? Should be pretty good, right? Oh, our revolt risk is fine. Okay, give me the 5% revolt risk. Yeah, still revolt risk of zero. So we just get a bunch of extra taxes now. Nice. I like that. We almost have the revolt risk in Furstenberg down to zero. Almost. All right, welcome back. Um, I don't know what I was saying right there, but the game crashed. Don't worry, mods mods do crash sometimes. Um, the weird thing is it crashed on January 1st, so I'm not sure if we actually lost any data or what, but it crashed on this date, which is, I have my auto saves on the, I have twice a year, January 1st and July 1st. So I'm a little skeptical if this Autosave actually worked properly, but we'll find out, won't we? It could just be that I was trying to compute something and it just didn't work. I wonder what Switzerland's going to do in this war. He is carpet sieging. Kind of weird that we can't set anyone else as a rival. Oh, no, we can. We can now choose St. Gallen or Zurich. Uh, I think we'll go with St. Gallen because Zurich is behind Austria. So St. Gallen it is. Need to embargo him, so give me a diplomat, please. I hope that's not a normal thing. I hope these. I hope that crash was just a, a weird, you know, fluke. Because we were playing this multiplayer with like 20 people a couple days ago, and I didn't have any crashes at all. 
Then again, other people who were playing did have crashes, so it wasn't uh, it wasn't like the game was running absolutely perfectly, but I didn't experience any problems at all. And we played for, I think, like four hours, five hours. Improvements in government technology. Do we need inflation or not? I think we'll go for the steady stuff. What is this? Inflation reduction. Nah, just steady. I thought it was supposed to just give you 50 or point, point 0.5 inflation. Not a steady increase of inflation. That'd be bad. Because we currently have uh, 1.17. I don't need that to increase. Hey, France is improving relations. Good. Although he's still just neutral. Yeah, he needs to annex his vassals. One interesting thing to note is France has a vassal Foi who has a personal union over Andorra. Uh, but the only way he can keep that personal union is if he keeps his prestige above zero. And it's currently at pretty much zero. Let's see. Leinster will annul trees with Norway. Okay. And now he's going to annex Connacht. Interesting. I thought he would just annex both of them, but apparently not. Hmm, Brook. They have Brook, and then over here we have Innsbruck. Yeah, right there. Innsbruck. Huh. I've never seen this one before. Brook. Never seen that. Meissen will annul trees with Lüneburg. Wow. Is that it? Oh, it's because he got involved in another war. What's this one for? The Bremen conquest of Hanover. I thought you had him in a unit in a union. Oh no, it's a different it's a different province. Never mind. So Bremen has declared war on Brunswick again. Wow. Oh yeah, I'm sure we can core provinces. Twitch chat is saying that we can core provinces on the other side of the bottom sea. I agree, we probably can. If we can claim it, then we can definitely core it. The problem is, we wouldn't be able to defend it, because we can't walk there. We need to be able to defend the land, you know? Actually, that's not true. We could walk through Austria. Hmm. I guess we could go for that. Yeah. Tyrol, Carinthia, Bern, and Wallace. I could see that. That might be really good for us. Although it is only a base 3 with wool, which is pretty useless. Hmm. Luxembourg has been re-elected the emperor, and Bohemia became a lesser partner in a union over under Austria. So Luxembourg lost their personal union despite having 82 prestige. Is that a scripted event? Because now Austria has the union over Bohemia. Because that, that, that was Luxembourg's union. Must be a scripted event. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, copper. Tyrol, Corinthia, who's this? Papal States and Chur. Oh man, that would have been so much better. I should have said Zurich as my rival. Oh well, but I couldn't claim Zurich anyway. So yeah, let's go ahead and claim St. Gallen. No reason not to. Well, I guess we'll wait for January. January we'll get the relations boost with Baden. Should be the last relations boost we need. Bohemia wants access. Sure. Are you at war? No. Why do you need access if you're not at war? You don't. Oh, because his troops aren't in... Uh, his troops aren't in exiled mode, so he can't just walk anywhere. Alright, fair enough. Uh-oh. Austria and Tyrol are at war. What's this? This is the Austrian conquest of Sudtirol. That means you're at war with Ravensburg. All right. But not Württemberg. Did Württemberg... Oh, Württemberg has joined. Württemberg has joined the war against Ravensburg. Oh, this is great. 
Did Bavaria join? No, Bavaria did not join. Okay, well, but, but Württemberg. No. So this is not an... Damn it, I thought this would be an opportunity. I thought Württemberg had broken his alliance with Austria. That is not the case. He has joined on Austria's side against Ravensburg. Okay. Ah, crap. So that doesn't really help us at all. Although maybe one of them will annex the other's lands or something. That'd be cool. I can't declare war for it. It won't do us any good. Austria is not at war with Bavaria. If we declared now, we would have to fight Bavaria ourselves. God, Twitch chat's going nuts. Don't make me time you out. You guys are cool, but don't go nuts. There's no way we could fight Bavaria. Bavaria has... Let me just count. Bavaria has... 7,000 units. We have three. It's not quite going to work. You feel me? Oh, it's January, right. End of the month, please. However, maybe there's another ally we could declare on. Let's see. Hohenlohe, Tyrol, Regensburg, and Nuremberg. Nope, I can't declare on any of those guys. Damn it. All right, let's go ahead and fabricate on St. Gallen. Oh, St. Gallen has joined the war against Austria. Oh, that's interesting. Because he's allied to Corinthia. Okay. Now, I could probably win the war against St. Gallen. France is still at war. He has exiled troops in England for some reason. And Scotland is going to annex Connacht. Most likely. Yep. Scotland has annexed Connacht. How do you not have a coalition? He has full annexed North Ireland, and now he full annexed Connacht, and he does not have a coalition. That is the craziest thing. AI, you can just get away with murder. Oh, wow. Switzerland is fighting. Oh, tech up time? Indeed. Um, but we are one year ahead. I think it's worth it to wait. How are we doing on tech anyway? Let me check the tech map mode. We are the best tech in the game. Well, Portugal's tied with us, and Navarre is tied with us, but for the most part, we're the best tech in the game, and Holland too. Uh, good. But that means it's it's probably a good time to wait on our points here. All right, Switzerland's in this war. Are, is that your ally? No, so you're fighting Switzerland. Yes. So Switzerland lost that battle. That was a victory for Austria. Okay. It's Ireland, no one cares. Oh, you're saying it's a cultural thing. Oh. Irish, okay. So no one cares because the only people who would get offended would be other Irish people and Welsh, Cornish, and Bretons. So these are the only people who could possibly get offended by Scotland. But these people don't exist as an independent state. They're all part of England. And Brittany probably doesn't like Scotland. Let's see. But that doesn't mean they're going to join the coalition. There's just a possibility, right? Scotland. Yeah, he doesn't like them. Rival, and they desire lands. Uh, aggressive expansion. Only negative 12. He annexed half of Ireland, and he only get negative 12 aggressive expansion? Wow, that's... Wow. What about uh, Munster? Tolmond? Neighbors. Oh, they're allies. They're allies, so he won't care. That's why. Okay, they're allies. Or else he would care. Oh no, we were discovered fabricating claims. That means we get aggressive expansion. Oh god. We got 13 aggressive expansion for that. We got 13 aggressive expansion for getting discovered fabricating a claim. That's more aggressive expansion than we got when we took land. When we took land, we got 10. Getting discovered fabricating a claim gave us 13. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. Oh man, that sucks.
Okay, we could start going for cheaper unjustified demands. Hmm, more relations. Let's hold off for now. We don't have to take the idea just because it's ready. Oh, is that a military thing? Oh, it's diplomatic points. Oh, I thought this was uh, admin, but it's actually diplomatic. Okay. My bad. I'm, a, I'm of the stupid. Ah, there we go. Wurtemberg is going to annex Regen, uh, Regensburg, Ravensburg. That's nice. Go for it, Wurtemberg. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. It's all up to you, MK. Ooh, the Florentine School. Uh, 7.1 ducats. Gain yearly prestige of plus one. Lose admin and lose diplo. Yes. I like prestige. Normally, I wouldn't take things like that that cost money and give you prestige because normally in EU4, if you want prestige, you just go to war. But I really have no chance to go to war here. Oh, Bavaria is in a war. What is this? This is the second Bavarian conquest of Anjbach. How big is this war? It is not a big war. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. Damn it, Bavaria, you are scary. Oh, man, look at this. He's clearing out the guys who were sieging Ravensburg. God damn it. Yeah, we're up to one ducat a month. You like that? And Bremen has conquered Hanover. Look at that. They got four base tax. Congratulations, Bremen. That's the second time they tried, and this time they finally got it. Tyrol, Corinthia, Bern, and Volus. Hmm. All right, let's get our dude back from Bern. Make sure we get access through Austria. And let me check the emperor. Emperor is still Luxembourg. Oh, but it may not. It may not stay there. Bohemia is now Austria's bitch, and now he's voting for Austria. But two people are voting for Luxembourg. I guess it can't hurt to get an alliance over there. But he won't take it. Uh, okay, we'll marry him. I just want him to not demand lands from us. That's the important thing. I don't want him to demand lands from us because it pisses off everyone in the HRE. And that is probably the most troublesome thing in the freaking world. Access from Austria. Okay. All right, get an alliance. Come on, baby. The roads are unsafe to travel. My count, our aristocrats are reporting bandits running unchecked on Hohenzollern's roadways. Produce, cattle, sheep, horses, and travelers are disappearing, causing discontent in the provinces and greatly reducing income. We have known for some time the re we have known for sompt. Fix that. Of the reluctance of the aristocracy to give any to give up any power to the, and authority and install independent sheriffs in their regions. We can address the problem by allocating troops to patrol the roads, but the final answer would be to build up local police forces through sheriff's offices. So we need to build sheriff's offices. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, we need 100 ducats. We don't have 100 ducats. So I guess send in the troops? Yeah. Yep, yeah, send in the troops. Darn it. Uh, if we had the gold available, that would have been a great time to get a sheriff's office, because it's free. I mean, it's not free. It's instant. You don't have to wait a year for it to build. But that's okay. All right, St. Gallen. Let's see. Tyrol, Corinthia, you're at war. You're at war. Who else? Uh, Bern and Wallace. Bern is not in any wars. Wallace is not in any wars. Okay. France, would you join me? France. Say yes, France. 
No, nobody would join me. France would not because France is in debt. That needs to go away. Austria would not because he's already at war. Brandenburg would not because he has war exhaustion. And Milan would not because he's a jerk. Well, again, we could get a statesman, but we cannot afford a statesman. It's too expensive. So, hmm. I guess we could get the statesman temporarily. And that might be enough. If we just get Milan, that's probably all we need to win this war. The question is, could Milan get access to Chur or Switzerland? And the answer is probably no. But he could go beat up Wallace for us, which is fine. Hmm. You know what? I think we'll have to save that for another another time. We'll have to look at it later. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time for more adventures in the lands of Hohenzollern. Uh, if we get a chance here, I would like to go get Ravensburg and St. Gallen. Um, but that's going to be highly dependent on who we can get to join us in the wars. Thanks for joining me, guys. I will see you next time. Have a good day. Goodbye, Ilkhanit. Look at those rebels.